Hey guys, so here we have a rotational kinetic energy problem of the proportional reasoning type. And what that means, it's one of those questions where I ask you, um, how does changing one variable affect another variable? It's one of those. Okay, so let's check it out. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to solve these. So it says you're tasked with redesigning a solid disk flywheel. Um, and you want to decrease the radius by half. So first things first, solid disk means that the moment of inertia is half mr squared. That's the equation for a solid disk or a solid cylinder. And you want the new radius, I'm going to call this r2, to be half of r1. And I want to know by how much mass or how much mass must the new flywheel have. Um, so what's the new mass relative to the original mass? so that you can store the same amount of energy. You want the amount of energy that you store to be the same. The amount of energy you stored is given by KR, that's energy stored, right? Um, which is given by half I omega squared. This is energy stored as rotational kinetic energy in a flywheel. You want this number not to change. You want this number to be a constant, constant, okay? So how do you do this? Well, if R changes, if R changes right here, then I is going to change. And if I changes, K is going to change, and that's bad news. So how do we change something else so that the K doesn't change? Well, for the K not to change, um, for the K not to change, you have to make sure that the I doesn't change. And for the I not to change, you have to cancel out changing R with changing M, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to expand this equation. Half um, I is half MR squared omega squared. So now I see all the variables that affect my K. And again, the K has to remain constant. So if my radius is becoming half as large, it means that it is decreasing by a factor of two, okay? So, but the, the R is squared, which means that when I reduce R by a factor of two, I also have to square this, and R is becoming half as, as large, but then the whole thing, R squared, is becoming four times smaller, okay? Four times smaller. What that means is that if you want to keep everything constant, my mass has to grow by a factor of 4x, okay? So my new mass has to be four times my old mass, and that's the answer, cool? So again, r decreases by the factor of two, but then you have to square because there's a square here, you get a four. If one variable decreases by four, the other one has to increase by four. Notice there are no squares in the m, so it's just a four, not a two, nothing crazy like that. Cool? That's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions.